Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Attorney. I'm your host, Alex Alexander with Client Focus Media. Today, I'm really excited to bring Dustin Saidi from Law at Your Side. We help injured people get the legal and medical compensation they deserve, though it be workers' compensation, personal injury, and employment law. Find them on the web at lawatyourside.com. Hey, welcome, Dustin. How are you today? I'm great, Alex. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. No worries. I appreciate you being here. You know, uh, real briefly, we chatted before we came on, and, and of course, you guys are are heavy into uh, workers' comp and, and PI, right? Uh, what, first of all, how long have you been doing this, and what what took you to this point? How did you get into law? Yeah, I, I got started in 2010 is when I got licensed to be an attorney, and um, I sort of started uh, trying to apply for different jobs, and I ended up with a personal injury lawyer. So I worked under his umbrella for about a year. Um, later, I started to do depositions for other workers' comp attorneys, and I did that for several years. And then finally, I went on a full-time position at a workers' comp law firm. Did that for about a year, year and a half. And after that, I decided to take the leap on my own. I had some of my friends who were sending me workers' comp cases, and I learned the ins and outs through my prior experience. We had done thousands and thousands of cases. So I kind of knew a lot of the ins and outs and all the little nuances that we were going to deal with. And I just felt it was conf- felt confident, felt it was a good time to go off and venture on my own and really be able to create an organization that treated clients in a certain way. Like I, I really wanted us to be very client focused, making sure we're calling clients back and doing a good job for the clients, not just, um, you know, you see, you see a lot of clients complaining about attorneys not getting calls back or not doing a good job. And I wanted us to do a good job and also make sure we were client service focused. And I started my own firm. I was able to control both of those aspects. And uh, that's what we, we created today. Uh, that makes sense, especially in a, in, a, in a large town, right? You're looking at L.A., greater L.A. And at that point, you have thousands of these great big lawyers. And the thing about those great big lawyers is, first of all, they don't care. Uh, and they never see you. They never. They, they don't know anything. It's a, it's a number that's assigned to a paralegal or another uh, a, a client, another lawyer within. So for you uh, to be able to take everything personally and look at it and be able to give real answers in real time, that's got to be a real help to somebody who's literally right now having the worst time of their life. So it, let's, yeah. let's talk a little bit about. Let's talk just a little bit about uh, maybe the uh, the most uh, efficient, effective way for you to bring cases forward. Yeah. So what we do is we try to balance because the workers comp system is very slow. It's a government system. It takes months to sometimes get doctors. Uh, California actually was, they did a survey and a study of of 12, 12 or 15 states and California was ranked one of the slowest for medical treatment, unfortunately. So uh, we try to really balance the litigation process with the treatment so we try to get our clients treatment as quickly as possible. And there's a lot of bureaucracy and loopholes you have to go through in order to even just get basic treatment. But then there's the litigation component, which is getting to them, getting certain uh, neutral doctors to evaluate their medical records and to evaluate the injured worker, um, getting into court. So we really try to balance those two components where we're getting them treatment as, as quickly as possible and as effectively as possible within the system but also moving the, the sort of litigation steps forward as well. So we can try to get them to um, at least a position where they can, if they want to resolve their case, they're put in a position where they can do that. We don't have to wait a few months um, extra. So we try to really balance those two in, in our, in our process in order to help them get the best outcome and also the best treatment along the way. I'm going to go outside the box here just a second, just to ask you a question. I mean, obviously, um, if, if people do go to lawsyourside.com, they're going to see that, uh, that it's a bilingual. Um, and I know that that has to be a great help, especially in California and, of course, in, in, Southern, in Southern California to, uh, as well. Is there a, a disproportionate number of people that aren't getting help because of uh, the, the language barrier? Um, that's hard to say. Um, so most people actually will do, they do cases without an attorney. I don't know if that's because they don't, they don't want to upset their employer or they don't know about the process. Um, so it's hard to say, but I, I, I mean, I'd say probably most half of our clients are Spanish speakers, half are English speakers. So I say we have a pretty good mix. So I can't say that, you know, just because they're, they're not speaking English, um, they're not getting the help that they need. Um, 
you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit, it's pretty hard to, to make that judgment right now. If there's one thing you say to anybody out there right now uh, about whether it be you, Law at your side, or them and them themselves, what would that be? If there's one thing I'd say about in regards to Law at your side, I would say um, if, if you have been injured at work, it's important to at least consult a, a lawyer because um, you're going to be dealing with the insurance carrier and they don't have your best interests in mind. They have their best interests in mind. And those don't always coincide. So at least consult with an attorney to see what your rights are, see, um, making sure you're not being taken advantage of because you're entitled to certain medical benefits, certain monetary benefits, um, and that's within your rights to do so. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I want to thank you very much for being on the show. I want to thank everyone out there for tuning into this episode of Ask the Attorney. If you'd like to learn more about Dustin Saidi from Law at Your Side, Go to lawatyourside.com or right here at iwantabuzz.com. Do something good for yourself and do something good for others.